that way I can go video. And so far, I've got a six-piece tracker, and I'm really loving this. Uh, the DZ is completely flooded with everybody and their mama wanting to use Predator's Mall. Is either a Nomad shotgun build or a Striker shotgun build. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. And be sure if you are not subscribed to the channel to hit that subscribe button. Ground and pound that like button and turn on post notifications. So that way you know each and every time a new video goes live or we go and start a live stream. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. As you can see, 446k toughness, 97.8 skill power, and almost 200k DPS with my M870, and also 393.7k DPS with my frog. Mm -hmm. uh, and keep in mind that all this gear is none of it's optimized, so these damage percentages uh, will go up. As you can see, 19.1 on the bullfrog with responsive, deadly, and uncomplicated. Now onto the shotgun military M870. 193k with deadly brutal and responsive instead of the deadly here um, as soon as i get the funds i'm going to be re-rolling that to unforgiving uh, because i think that'll eventually pay off more than just having deadly on it and with the attachments is 118.5 magazine size four percent create gents and five and a half percent rate of fire small optics seven and a half percent create chance stability 5% optimal range and the underbarrel, 49.5% optimal range, accuracy, and crit hit damage. Now let's go on to the gear. We got a Striker's Harness with almost maxed out on stamina. I believe it's like 1393, uh, 1865 on armor. Those values will increase once they, it is optimized. I can go up to, I believe, 294 gear score. So around 1900 in armor. Uh, 1401 will be the max on the stamina and the major attributes I went with the health and the enemy armor damage so this is both versatile for PvE and PvP and in the minor I have ammo capacity now going on to the mod slots I have 265 stamina with health and another 254 firearms with health moving on to the mask it's 962 286 gear score um, still yet to be optimized. Uh, major attributes, 3.5% crit chance. You can swap out for enemy armor damage. If you plan on using this build for more PvE scenarios instead of PvP, but I went with the crit chance here because I've been doing more PvP than I have PvE. And then the miners, blind death resistance. And then the mod slot, 267 firearms with 3169 skill power. Instead of the skill power, since skill power is pretty much crap now, uh, if I could put all and to firearms with the minor on the mod slots being in health such as this one if it said firearms health i'd prefer that over the skill power mm -hmm. moving on to the knee pads 1592 in armor 16530 in health as the major stat good firearms roll with blind death resistance damage to elites and shock resistance and in the mod slots we have five and a half percent first aid self heal 265 firearms with skill power like i said if you had health on these um be well over four uh, 55k toughness and also if your armor values are increased uh, once these gears optimized then you're going to be even closer to that 500k toughness that's the little sweet spot the comfortable zone that i'd like to be in but moving on to the striker pack 1334 in armor uh, major attribute is health 13,103 with bleed resistance and it has a good firearms roll on it as well and then moving on to the mod slots, we have firearms with skill power and two first aid self heals. Mm -hmm. Now moving on to the gloves, we have 6% chance, crit hit chance, 17% crit hit damage, and 12% shotgun damage. I need a new pair of gloves because even after these is optimized, the armor value roll is very low. So hopefully I can come across another striker classified gloves so that way uh, my toughness uh, and my health pool can uh, greatly be increased because this is a really low armor roll. And then moving on to the holster, 13-1 on armor, 294 gear score. This is the only piece that I have optimized on the whole entire build. And the majors, I have 8,230 in health and 1401 and 1401 in both firearms and stamina and 1393 in electronics. Now, if you prefer, uh, I like the Tommy gun of the situation, uh, MP5s, or if you prefer a tactical sausage, um, this one here does 123k and it has deadly brutal and responsive on it as well now going on to the character sheet we have 22 and a half percent create chance 
95% crit damage, 87% crit uh, headshot damage with 44% enemy armor damage and 14% uh, damage to elites. Uh, skill power doesn't really mean too much. And then my max health pool is 303k.5. Toughness altogether is 446.3 and my armor mitigation is 32%. Um, once it's optimized, it'd probably be closer to 35, 36%. But um, by no means is this build optimized. My sweet spot for when it comes to toughness is uh, somewhere around the 500k ballpark. So that way you're not really exactly a tank, but you have enough survivability. So that way you can proc the uh, striker talents and stack those that damage and then just melt people. And there's gameplay coming up at the end of this video that you'll see where I'm just two tapping players all over the DZ. But that's my build. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, there's just too many people, you know, cheesing the pred, and there's a lot of nomad out there. But no matter what you've run, you come across this uh, striker shotgun build, and they're just going to be completely melted away. But let's go on over to some gameplay, and I'll show you exactly. Come on, man. 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 Come on,